everybody. Welcome back. Well, guys, in this video, we're going to continue working on our Smithy 1340 Max that we got back here. And we're going to work today on removing the backlash, or as much as we can, from the Y-axis. All right, guys, so let's get over here on the Smithy and see what we can't do to remove as much of the backlash as possible from the Y-axis, or the cross slide on the Smithy, okay? If you watch my videos, you know that I have the Smithy Granite 1340 Max, all right? And in this video, we're going to be working on this cross slide table or the Y axis, removing as much of the backlash as possible, all right? And the first thing we got to do is not make the mistake that we did before. We're, we're going to work on adjusting these gibs on this thing. First thing, these gibs back here, we're going to adjust those first and make sure that there's no problems there before we go any farther. You see there we got all those gibs adjusted up good and tight and we've run the table back and forth now several times and it seems to be you know, nice and snug it's in good order now the next thing we got to do is we're going to uh, take a measurement and see what our baseline is how much backlash we currently have on the y-axis All right, guys, so as you can see there, we've got about 19 thousandths of backlash in both directions, okay? And the first thing we need to do, step one in trying to remove as much of that backlash as we can is right here on this knob, okay? And if you notice, when you turn this thing back and forth, there'll be a gap up here where the dial meets the table, and that gap will increase and decrease as you turn the knob. So what we gotta do is take this jam nut here loose, and then we need to snug up on this nut that behind there but if you over tighten it guys it won't turn in fact this dial here will get jammed up against this and you won't even be able to adjust the dial even if it does turn so we just want to snug this up and find a happy medium there where it's got as much of the play out of it as possible yet it will still turn okay so let me get out some tools and let's do that next Alright guys, so we've done the adjustment on this, now we're going to take another measurement and see how much we reduce the backlash just by uh, adjusting this knob and that nut behind the jam nut there, okay? So let's check that and see what we've got. That's a big improvement. You can see there we're down to 10 thousandths of backlash now just by adjusting this, all right? So now we're gonna go back to the back side of the table and get in there to that, um, that split nut or whatever you wanna call it that's in there, and we're gonna uh, expose that and get it adjusted. So let's go around to the back of the table. All right, guys, so if we're gonna make our second adjustment here to get out as much of that backlash as we can, we gotta come back here and we need to take our Allen wrench and remove this little plate that's right here that covers up the adjustment and get it set out of the way and then move the table that way as far as we can and expose that adjusting nut that's in there and then take our Allen wrench <clears throat> there's four adjusting screws that are in there 
and we're going to turn that thing in, run the table back and forth a little bit, turn it in some more, and try to get as much of that out as we can. All right, so let's do that. guys so we've made that adjustment back there on the back of the cross slide table on the y-axis you know we adjusted in those little tiny allen adjusters with the wrench and we got it real run back and forth a bunch of times and it's nice and snug so now it's time to take another measurement of the backlash and see how much we've improved it All right, man, we got this thing down to five thousandths. You know, we were able to get the x-axis down in the other video down to four thousandths, but the best I could do with this one was five after uh, several adjustments, working it back and forth. But that is a huge improvement, okay? We went from 19 thousandths down to five thousandths. And that's, that's big, okay? Now, I have seen another person's video that said that those little Allen screws, sometimes you have to take them out and clean them and put a little blue Loctite on them so they don't vibrate back out. But we'll see as time goes by if it works loose or whatever, okay? All right, guys, we're all done there. You can see we've made a lot of improvement on that backlash. And hey, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and I hope you come back for the next one. As much of the backlash as possible from this cloth. I did it again. I said cloth. Curl, 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 the cross line table. No, no, the cross line table over here. Hank is just a barking out there. What is he barking at? <laughs> you crazy dog, you. It's just television dogs. Settle down. <laughs>